Hey everybody, Nailer Failed Reviews here. Today we're gonna to be talking about dogs and the harnesses that you might be looking at online and trying to figure out which one to buy. There's a ton of them out there and today we're gonna to go over the Roughwear line, three of their top uh, dog harnesses that they sell. And these are really uh, great harnesses. There are three different types. And so we're gonna go over the different features. We're gonna show you how they go on Angel here and definitely give you some insight because there are a lot of differences that aren't really apparent uh, when you're looking at these things online. And so we're gonna go over them today on Nailed or Failed Reviews. So stay tuned and check it out now. Okay guys, so here we are, we got Angel here. She's gonna help us uh, show you guys some different harnesses and uh, you know the differences between them because even though some of the sizing might say that uh, it's the same size, there really can be a difference in harnesses. And again, today we're gonna be going over the Roughwear line. We're gonna be talking about three different harnesses from Roughwear. These are all the same size. We're gonna be talking about extra, extra small for uh, smaller dogs today. So for you bigger dogs out there, you know, most of the time you can get a medium or a large and you're pretty good. But for the, some of these smaller dogs um, and smaller, longer dogs, these harnesses can sometimes uh, not fit that great. So we're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about uh, Roughwear's, their coats, and also about how it, based on the sizing, is not really accurate when you're somebody looking at uh, a line of stuff like this and you're saying, okay, well, I'm considering getting my dog a harness and a coat and a, you know, a jacket or a sweater, whatever it might be that the company sells. And then uh, next thing you know, none of them fits. So uh, we're gonna go over that today. What we're gonna start with is showing you some of the differences in each of these harnesses and why we decided to go over with rough wear over a standard harness that you can buy at any of the local uh, pet stores. Roughwear has a full line of different style of harnesses depending on what you're doing with your dog, the different activities that you guys might be doing together. And so what we're gonna be talking about today is three different lines and the differences in how they, they fit even though they're the same size. And so the first one that we're gonna talk about is this uh, high and light harness. This is basically their thinnest model, I'll call it. And really what it comes down to is between the different harnesses is the number of straps that they have, the way that they go on over your pet, over the head and get onto the neck, and then um, some different features like straps and whatnot. And then the thickness is the biggest thing. So for this high and light one, this is definitely for smaller dogs. Um, and it could be for medium sized dogs as well, but it's made out of something that's similar to like what a, a nice outdoor waterproof jacket is made out of uh, that type of thinner uh, ripstop material. And so it's really flexible. You know, you can see you can ball it up here and it's just a, a really thin lightweight harness. The next one up from that is the front range harness. This one is similar in style, almost the exact same. Uh, and what they do with this one is they actually add padding to it. So there actually is padding on this one and uh, sort of the, it has a similar fit, um, but it is a lot more robust. Uh, the straps are beefier, the whole setup is beefier. And so putting this on a smaller dog, a very small dog, um, may not be the best because it, it, it does uh, take a little bit to conform to the dog just because there's padding added to it. So we'll get into that later. Pickup harness, this has a strap on the top to, or a handle to pick up a dog. This is called the, uh, the Web Master Dog Harness. And so this has a different style of the way that it goes over the dog's head and then has two different straps. So one for the front and then one that's a little bit farther back to essentially give support, you know, as you're uh, picking up your dog. For our dog, we decided that uh, extra, extra small was the correct size based on her chest size. And so that's how they have you measure for all this stuff is by chest size. So extra, extra small is a 13 to 17 inch chest size. So we said, okay, well, pretty much the whole line uh, in the harnesses as well as the clothing 
uh, said the same sizing. 13 to 17 was the extra, extra small size. So again, you know, when you're buying this dog stuff, it's really hard to figure out, especially when you're buying it online, what size you're gonna need. And so we're gonna show you today, you know, how different they, they these all are, uh, even though they are extra, extra small. And, and then at the end, we're gonna get into, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of this, these rough wear clothing, the jackets that they make. Uh, we had one of these for our previous dogs and it was just awesome. It fits really great, it lasted a really long time. Um, but again, the sizing is really deceiving. And again, this is an extra, extra small, but maybe you, you be able to can tell from the picture or just from looking at it that um, it's really tiny. So, um, you know, we'll get into that. So let's get Angel back up here. We're gonna show you how some of these harnesses can fit on her and give you an idea of what the difference is between them and why we decided to go with uh, rough wear uh, as opposed to this uh, standard type of harness. Uh, but the problem with these is that a dog can still slip out through the front. And so what happens is, um, especially with like our dog, she's a rescue, she's super skittish about things because she was just picked up off the streets. And so we've encountered things out on the street like elevators, uh, big doorways, things like that, where all of a sudden she just stops in her tracks and you're walking forward and you know the, your leash is basically in front of the dog. And what happens is this a dog can essentially slip right out of this harness and, um, and run away. So we're gonna show you that, how that actually happens here and how it can't happen with these rough wear harnesses. So let's get Angel up here and, and get to it. Okay, so we got Angel here. Hopefully she'll uh, sit still and, and work with us here. We've got some treats. First off, we're gonna show you guys, you know, this is the standard type of harness that you see all over the place at any pet store. It looks, basically looks like a bra for a dog. And, you know, you easily just put their feet in like that. And then she likes to bite on these things. And then you snap it at the top. This is a standard style, you know, I can pick her up type of thing with this one. So we did, that's what we did like about this uh, Silverfoot brand is that it sort of did have the way that they attach the loops on the top, um, the area was you were able to grab your dog and pull on them. So um, this one also allows your dog to keep their uh, collar on uh, without there being any sort of interference here like you can see. Um, so that's the nice thing about these is that usually they're pretty thin, they're not too bulky, and um, uh, they work really well, you know, and they're cheap. The problem with them though is that a dog can slip out of them, but if you take your collar off, and again, you have to think about if you're in an emergency or panic situation where the dog gets frightened um, and wants to get away, what happens is you have, you're walking forward and the dog pulls back and you can see slips right out of it. So that's the problem with these harnesses is that a dog can slip right out of them if they get freaked out and you are, you're still walking forward. That just by having the leash attached is going to, and, and the dog going backwards is going to pull it right off just like you saw there. Okay, so the first harness we're gonna talk about is the high and light harness. This is their thinnest version. The fabric is a nylon ripstop style, similar to like a rain jacket. And so uh, it's really flexible and thin and uh, lightweight. And it has a lot of the same features that the other ones have, which are these metal uh, har or leash attachment points. Um, the buckles on this one are a little bit smaller and lower profile just because of the smaller size and the thinner nature of it, as well as the straps and the, the little um, webbing that it goes through. It, on the inside, it's sort of smooth. So it's, again, it's almost like your rain jacket. So it's fairly waterproof by itself, I would, I would guess. It has these, uh, all of them have these little ID pockets that allow you to either put their name tag in, or secondary name tag or something. That's the uh, high and light one. Again, this is one, this is a extra, extra small, and I can't even get this on her. It's extended out all the way, and there's just no way that uh, this is gonna fit on her at all. I'll just give you an example. You can see their harnesses, a lot of their harnesses, so that you can't, so the dog can't come out, go through the face. And so it'll go on her head, so it goes over, but then, you just, you can't buckle it all the way around. 
so it comes up on either side <laughs> it comes up on either side and there's just no way it's going on um, so and then they you gotta sort of pull it off of them like that so that's the high and light one now we're gonna get into the uh, uh, the front range harness this is the the front range harness is the next version up give her a little treat here so the front range harness is the uh, step up from the high and light. It's really a, a really similar setup, um, but what this offers is a, an added padding. So open up, you can see that these are really similar to the way that they're uh, made. You can see that there's a difference here in the way that these, these wrap around, but the head goes through the same way, the chest stuff is the same, and the straps at the bottom come up the same. What they do is they just add padding to this front range harness. Because this is sort of like a step up, this thing has bigger buckles, it has bigger straps on it. Um, the straps on this one, or the buckles on this one, I should say, actually fit into a little pocket type of thing, so they're not completely exposed. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is, other than to protect them from getting snagged on something or, or whatever. Um, but it is, I guess, a nice little feature. The only thing is, is that it, it doesn't allow your fingers, you sort of gotta jam your fingers into that little pocket so that you can uh, unsnap it open. For this one, you do have to take off the collar because it just doesn't work with the way it fits. Um, but again, you, there, let go. Put their head through like that. And so then it's hanging down and then this will go through their legs. Yep. Snap one side in. And then snap the other side in. And so this is a, a really, um, I like the way that this one fits and that uh, the padding on it and how it just sort of is a nice comforting fit it seems like for the dog she doesn't really mess she doesn't mess with it she only scratched at it when we first put it on her and uh, now she doesn't mess with it at all um, she can't bite it she can't get to it she likes to bite on her collar and uh, her last harness she actually chewed through it was just a regular style uh, like I was showing you earlier but she was able to chew through it because she just would mess with it so much uh, the one thing I will note about this one is that uh, it does have sort of like some extra material here so when the dog is just resting you can see it has this bunched up material there and i mean when she stands up and uh, moves around it's it's a little bit more um, noticeable because she doesn't have it stretched all the way out but you can see that depending on the size you're going to get there is that type of thing what i noticed with this particular dog that we have is that her chest is really big and even though she's a smaller dog um, she's right at the 17 inch in her chest uh, diameter and she only weighs about uh, uh, 12 or 13 pounds but her chest is really big and so that sort of causes an issue with these uh, rough wear harnesses because they don't extend back very far and because of that it's up under her armpits but because her her chest right here uh, sticks down so much um, the harness isn't coming back as far as it would like to to alleviate that that bunching on the front uh, this one also these aren't the easiest to grab so if your dog is um, not leashed up but they have this on it's not unlike the other unlike the other one that i was showing you where you could sort of just reach your hand in and grab it pull it this one you sort of got to use your fingers and pinch in to the top uh, to grab the dog if you know they're walking around or whatever and you're not like I said they're not leashed up you got to reach down and grab it like this so uh, be aware that there's not really a good way to grab your dog uh, with this front range harness or the uh, high and light uh, just because of the the design of it this one um, does have the ID tag in it like I said like all the others it has the nice metal attachment point and then I'm going to show you here how uh, she, this thing cannot come off of her so you can see I don't want to hurt her but um, here put your head down it's they don't <clears throat> they don't come off because it gets stuck back here behind their legs and because of the way it's attached so it's really nice for 
these uh, for any dog really because you're going to be have a, that reassurance that they cannot come out uh, of the harness and as long as they're on a leash you you know you should be good so this is the front range harness you can see she's looking pretty there this is a, a berry color or something like that so they do have some sort of random colors i wish they had um, some other options and they do change from year to year uh, but uh, this front range harness is, is a real winner in our book so. so now i'll show you how i take this thing off of her again because of the way it goes around their head you sort of do have to um, you know work their ears through There we go. You just sort of have to flip it inside out and then it'll it'll come to slide right off. So that's the front range harness. Uh, we think that this one's a real winner. Uh, you know, it fits really well. The padding is nice. It definitely did. Um, the padding sort of um, loosened up a lot since she's been wearing this. It's been about two weeks now that she's had this on. And so it's much more flexible. This one piece on top is the one is about the only part that still is sort of not super flexible but i have a feeling that'll break in once she it gets wet and all that good stuff but the definitely the bottom part where it goes around her chest and under her arms has um, softened up quite a bit so that's the front range harness so then the last harness that we'll talk about is the roughware webmaster dog harness and this is specifically meant to be able to grab your dog and, and lift them up by this handle and we, I was really wanting this one because this dog is super active. She loves to run around and get crazy. And when we take her on hikes and stuff, she wants to you know, do her own thing, uh, but she needs a little assistance. So I thought that this would be a great one to get because of this little handle here and uh, because it just looks like a super secure system for her. Again, this is an extra, extra small. This comes really close to fitting. But unfortunately, again, because I'm, I'm guessing it's because of her chest mostly, but I'm also putting some stock in the fact that it's just their sizing is a little bit off, is that the extra extra small does not fit the same as uh, their front range harness. Extra extra small comes close, and it definitely doesn't fit anywhere near what the high and light harness uh, extra extra small fits. So be aware that if you're trying to figure out that uh, which one to get, you're going to need to get um, you know a different size so like if you were to use uh, high and light would probably be a in my opinion probably almost a medium to equal the the size of a extra extra small in this um, webmaster one so be aware of that because you don't want to waste your money this is the same it's the same style uh, sort of that uh, the front range harness had except it, you can see it has a much different style of uh, front the way that it goes in the front so this one just has this sort of bone shape here whereas this is this triangle centerpiece that's going to go right on their chest and uh, and lock them in so that they can't come out front wise and so again because this has this is meant to be picking up a dog it's built a little bit more robust it has the two straps on it and then the, the piece that their head goes through again it has the handle and then it has a nice hole uh, where the handle is just to provide some relief um, and uh, I guess a little breathability too so I'll show you how this one goes on her she's being a really good girl so again this one goes on similar slips right on like that and then this one they have to put one their right paw through one of the loops like a standard um, like a standard harness and then you have the one strap and then this is where it didn't fit angel is in the secondary strap now it technically it fits lengthwise the strap is able it's actually maxed out almost and it fits um, fits her you can see it, it snapped on but what I didn't like about it is you can see here how it's right at the end of her rib cage so right where my hand is at is her end of her bony rib cage and then right where the strap is at is her stomach and just soft tissue so I didn't really care for that because you know if I'm gonna be picking this dog up you can see how that really pulls on her stomach. 
and you know and you don't want that strap loose because if you do use the harness to pick them up um, you know it's not going to work because it's going to be all loose so i didn't really like how this area right here is so uh, right up against the uh, junction of the rib cage to the soft tissue um, for me didn't I didn't feel comfortable letting this just letting her wear this around constantly you know even just her um, standing here right now and sitting you can feel the pressure you know you can't really get your fingers under there too much um, again just because it's the uh, strap is at its max length uh, this one depending I think on your chest cavity of your dog is a really awesome option if it could if it could work for your dog because it does have this built-in handle um, I think this could be really handy and like I was saying on the front range harness you know there's no way to really grab the dog like this you sort of got to reach in and and pinch this and when it's up against their body you know and they're they're scurrying around and whatnot it's like okay how am I going to get my fingers in there securely and grab them and, and hold on to them so that's a big difference between the way that these work so to take this thing off you got to get their foot through back out and then slip their head out again you just pull it sort of inside out and then it'll come off really easy like that so again that's the uh, webmaster dog harness made for picking up your dog and so last thing we're going to talk about real quick we're just going to touch on it is the rough wear clothing and again the way that the sizing relates so this is an extra extra small this is the uh, cloud chaser soft shell jacket and as i mentioned in the beginning of the video we had one of these previously for our other dogs and it was a really nice jacket kept her really warm uh, the snow would shed off of it, the rain would shed off of it. So it was a really nice jacket to just um, help take the chill off and uh, not, it wasn't too bulky. Uh, is This has a really nice zipper on it and so that uh, makes it nice because it's not Velcro. A lot of jackets are Velcro and that uh, dogs it bugs them, a lot of them. Um, and so this thing, it just zips up. The zipper is inside of its own little pocket here so they can't mess with it, can't catch on anything and uh, the last one we had lasted a really long time. The problem is, is that the sizing is completely off. Again, this is an extra extra small, they say 13 to 17 inch chest cavity, and so uh, what's, I said, okay, I'll get this extra extra small, but there's just no way uh, this is going on, or I already tried it earlier, I'm not gonna torture her again, but um, you can get her feet through, but then when you try to, uh, what you have to do is you have to wrap it around, and there's just no way that this is going to attach. So I hope that helped you guys. The uh, Roughwear line is a, a really great line of uh, dog clothing, harnesses, jackets, bowls, all types of different stuff. So definitely check them out. We're gonna have affiliate links down below for all these harnesses. So please help support the channel and uh, use affiliate links if you think you wanna buy one of these. It's really gonna help us out so that we can do more reviews for you guys like this. So you can help you decide which products are gonna be best for you and uh, the furry little friends in your family. Nailed or failed reviews, like if you like, subscribe, check out the other videos.